I said Islam is concerned with more than yourself. Remember that? Islam by definition is concerned with more than yourself. If you say irka'u wasjudu wa'budu rabbakum, that's yourself. Make ruku', make sujood, be in a state of ibadah. But when he says waf'alu al-khayr, do good, good helps who? Others. Now that you, if you really want to be successful, then you have to help others. You have to do good for others. لَعَلَّكُمْ تُفْلِحُونَ So you can be successful. But and even if you do good for others, it's not for them, it's for who? Yourself. So our voluntary, our, our voluntary contributions in whatever way, shape or form are actually efforts to help our own selves. Don't ever, do I, should I dare look back at a masjid that I gave time to, a program, a convention I helped put, put together, a check I wrote to the, you know, the school or whatever, and say, I help them, I only help myself. And the moment I say, I help them, it doesn't count for me anymore. I cannot go to Allah and say, Ya Allah, where's the money I gave? Allah will say, you already said it, you helped them. You didn't say you helped yourself. You can't have it both ways. Allah only takes one, one intention. <laughs> so if you're gonna give, whether you give time, whether you give money, whether you give effort, whether you give suggestions, if you're going to give, you better only expect returns from Allah. You expect anything from anyone else, Allah doesn't like to share in intentions. Allah is very jealous of intention. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, He wants His intention to be exclusive. You try to put anybody else, yourself, some other agenda in that intention, is gone. It doesn't count for anything. So you know how sometimes in Islamic organizations, especially because so many of our organizations are donation dependent. Masajid are donation dependent, schools are donation dependent, right? Da'wah organizations are donation dependent, publishers are donation dependent, people write a big check, somebody writes a twenty, thirty thousand dollar check or something. And then all of a sudden shaitan comes to them first of all and says, Mabruk. And then he says, hey by the way, why don't you give them a suggestion about the color of the carpet? I mean, after all, you wrote a big check. You should at least have some weight in your opinion. And so you go and you give a suggestion. You didn't give a suggestion before you wrote the check, but all of a sudden, now your opinion just got $30,000 heavier. So you want to give an opinion. And you're expecting that your opinion will be taking, taken a lot more seriously. Now why? Because you gave some money. Then your intention for giving the money was not a lie anymore, it was just to get your opinion to weigh a little more, that's all you will get out of that sadaqah. That's all you'll get. Is it worth it? <laughs> think about that. Just think about that. Before you, before you ruin your, the sadaqat you give, in any cause, wallahi in any cause, don't tie your contributions to expectations. If you want to have expectations, have them with Allah. Personally, when I ever write a sadaqah check, I, I, just to remind myself, I just write a little word on top. Ma naqasa malum min sadaqatin. Mal never goes down by giving sadaqah. I remind myself who am I giving sadaqah to and who, which I'm actually depositing in my akhirah account. So I remind myself the withdrawal is going to happen after I go in the dirt. So I don't expect any withdrawals yet. You try to withdraw now, you won't get anything there. You, I want to make sure you get that, I get that across to all of you, inshaAllah ta'ala.